Hello, my friends. Okay, I'm going to try something different today. Um, using Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paints. I've got a bunch of them. I've never really found um, a good pouring medium to use with them to get results that I'm happy with. So, uh, of course, I've been watching Sarah Mack and her wonderful pours. I can't think what she calls them, but that's kind of what I'm trying. A lot of Floetrol, five to one, I think it was, with the heavy body mediums. Now I'm using an odd assortment of colors here. I did some custom mixes, so I really can't tell you what they are, but it reminds me of a little tip I came up with. If you mix a custom color, you might write the what you did on the other end of the stick, let it dry, and if you like it, you can repeat the recipe. I keep them in little color families, and... Um, when I'm looking for something unique, I go to the stick. <laughs> so, um, this is my first attempt at this on video, so I don't know what to expect. Let's hope for the best. Um, I have added the only, just the Floetrol and Liquitex paint. This is Artist Loft White and um, a little bit of the Deco Art Satin Enamel to give us those wonderful pillow effects, or cloud effects, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called. And no real rhyme or reason to the order here. I'll do at least two layers, possibly three. A little scared of that lime color. It's beautiful, but I don't know what it's going to look like with the rest of these. Could could be wonderful, though. I'll hope for that. I'll just go backwards and repeat what I just did. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Um, I hope I have sufficient paint. But I never worry about that. If I run short, once I'm happy with the composition, I'll stop the tilting, let it dry, and fill in the voids with a solid color. I want to thank everyone for uh, watching my videos and subscribing. It just really tickles me that uh, you are interested in what I'm doing here. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas for embellishing and that seems to be very um, very interesting to people so I will be doing some more of that very soon. Well that's about as full as I can get that thing so I'm gonna dump the rest or some here uh, to get started. Reserve a bit for the edges if necessary. Well, I almost tipped it out the back. What a mess that would be. Okay, here we go. Just start with a straight pour. Oh, I don't know if you can see in the cup here, but some wonderful things are happening with that those greens together. I hope it translates to the canvas. This is kind of a bronze color um, there. I think when it dry, oh, here comes that pretty green. Look at that. Ooh, it's like an emerald. Oh, I like it. A 
little close to that edge there. I'm going to move it up a bit back towards the center. Here comes the white. I don't know why I did that, but we'll see. Oh. Get these out of the way. Okay, kind of looks it looks very global, doesn't it? And here we go. Oh, I guess I should have hit. I should hit it with the. Um, Torch shouldn't I to get rid of some air bubbles. I know that with Floetrol you tend to get bubbles. And you kind of want them, right? With this, or not bubbles, but you want to bring up some kind of cell looking things without having to add silicone. I love a square canvas. This is a little trickier <laughs> an oblong or rectangular rather, but uh that's all doable. <laughs> oh look at that. I got a weird dot, right? I must have dripped something right there. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm just wonder if I have anything left in here. I'm going to pour right there. I like what's going on over here, but it, it's going away. So now I'll add a little bit left right in, this, in that spot I didn't like. It must have come from my gloves because my gloves are dripping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stand up. Well, my bronze disappeared, didn't it? Not much of that left. I don't know that my decision to add that was very good. <laughs> A strange egg-shaped object. No, not not like an I I like oh that's a shame I can't mm, 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 mm. uh oh I lost a thumbtack that's not good oh, I don't know now to decide what to do that's kind of fun that's kind of interesting but I don't think I like that thing. So what to do with it? Um, I, I, the problem is I, oh, I'm <laughs> dripping again. I like the lines on either side of it. So I don't want to lose that. I suppose I could let it dry and paint over it with something. Just bizarre. Or I could swipe it. I'm going to try swiping it. Oh my goodness, my hands are a mess. Hopefully I have something nearby. Um, okay, well, <laughs> here's a piece of paper.
Oh, dear. This is very scary. like that I I don't mind that but this is that's no good how did I how did I get it so narrow <laughs> I guess it didn't touch the whole the whole canvas oh boy I'm making a real mess here today. Oh my gosh, my scissors. Okay. Now where am I going with this? Hmm. Different. I, I think I like it better than that egg I had on there. Um, I'm not crazy about the seam I have there, but uh, I don't know what I can do about that. Can I do this? And meld the two together. Am I making it more noticeable? Let's see what happens when I tilt it just a bit. Oh, I'm getting some in. Well, you know what? Maybe when I hit it with the um, torch, it'll bring up some cells and disguise that seam. Let's see. As we know, the Floetrol will, the appearance will change because of the use of Floetrol, so that more cells will pop up. I'm kind of liking that. I, I'm not unhappy with that. It looks very kind of seaweedy, like I can see some type of underwater embellishment when this is done. I kind of like it, ladies and gentlemen. If there are any gentlemen, I don't know. I think mostly women are <laughs> doing this. I'm watching, but uh, I think I might just stop there. I should. And I think I will. Let me take my gloves off and take you down for a, a close-up. All right, hold on. Oh, I got a nice glare from my overhead lamp. Sorry about that. But look at those lovely, let's see if I can tilt it. Camera, no. Look at those lovely little lacing effect cells. Mm, the bronze is coming through nicely. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry, folks, about that light. Is that better? I got my shadow there. But anyway, you get the idea. I think that swipe is um, kind of an interesting addition to this technique. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. We'll call that good for now and see you next time. Bye-bye.